Governor Snyder and Attorney General Bill Schuette turned in court papers Monday, and both sides presented their case to the Court of Appeals today. Shannon Court Kantner was in the courtroom. Did petitioners follow the rules laid out by the Constitution to get their collective bargaining proposal on the November ballot? The organization Protect Our Jobs says yes. Almost 700,000 people signed petitions to put this on the ballot. There's no doubt in my mind uh, that we complied with the law to the letter. But that's not how their opponents see it. They argue the proposal keeps voters in the dark. We believe that there's an affirmative obligation when you're circulating a petition that makes sweeping changes to tell the people exactly what they're signing and what this will do. We don't think they did, and the Board of Canvassers didn't think they did. They deadlocked 2-2 along party lines on this issue last week. One of the concerns is that all the changes simply can't be summed up in the required 100 words. And there are 170 laws, according to the Attorney General, that will be impacted. And, and so, you know, you can't really summarize it very easily, very shortly, because it's so broad. They say all those changes to laws that could impact pensions, hourly wages, and disputes in the workplace should have been republished in the petition. The petition would be like the Manhattan phone book. I mean, it, it's not feasible, and it doesn't make sense because that would only confuse voters to have all of that overload. And no matter how the court rules, Protect Our Jobs is here to stay. We, we're, we're fighting on behalf of the, the uh, millions of uh, working families in Michigan. We're not going to give up just because a bunch of uh, rich lawyers got in our way. In Lansing, Shannon Kantner, News 10. The Court of Appeals has until Monday to issue a ruling that will most likely be appealed to the state Supreme Court.